in many cases, these layoffs are invisible. People have been affected by this, which accounts for you know, between eight and 10% of the United States gaming workforce. Wow. Which is crazy. Wow. That, that's huge. That, that is a disproportionate hit to an industry that is akin to 2007 and eight in the tech and real estate sectors. But it's not talked about as much unless you're in the circles and then it's talked about a lot because these are people's lives. Largely, this is attributable to some really irresponsible leadership by gaming companies by taking big bets during COVID and saying this is this kind of growth is going to happen forever. Mm-hmm. We all knew that it wasn't. And there's some folks who, you know, I, I wish that executives were more accountable for some of this than the people who were affected. But, you know, that's going to happen. It's how it works. But you're getting off my my Marxist horse here for a second. Um, what I will say is that as the as the gaming industry works right now, if you're a writer, you used to have to go into film and go to Hollywood and you had to move across country you had to get on a bus from Kansas and you had to go to Hollywood, right? Classic story. If you were a, you wanted to make movies, you wanted to tell stories in any sort of medium, you, you basically had to go to film or write books or make TV, I suppose, right? Now, these interactive mediums of games, especially with really accessible engines like Fortnite and Unity, you could go on and in the space of a month or two, especially with AI solutions out there now, let's say you page who I presume you don't play a lot of games, but you had an idea for a game and you said, you know what, I want to make a game that's about being a domain trader. You could make that game and you could make a really awesome version of that game all by yourself in the space of about a month with free tools that are basically free so long as you have the hardware. Um, And that's pretty cool. It's an unprecedented accessibility to creative expression that we've never seen before. So I'm, I'm excited. The whole reason I mentioned all this in the same sort of a seemingly disconnected environment is this. Many, many thousands of amazing people have been displaced, which by the way, definitely disproportionately affects female identifying people, people of color, and members of the queer community. And then over here, we have all this accessibility and, and ability to create in ways that hasn't happened before. And what does that mean? An explosion, a Cambrian explosion of new stuff that I can't wait to play. And so I believe we're entering into a new golden era of games over the course of these next five years because of that incredible crossroads. Add Web3 on top of that as a substrate to basically build on this. My money is staying in games. I'm just going to say that. There you go. 